In today's tutorial, we will talk about the question, what does the term double bond character mean? Here we have butane as a molecule with a central CC single bond and around this single bond the parts of the molecule can rotate very fast. As soon as we have a double bond the stereochemistry is stabilized. Here we have trans 2 butene and those two methyl groups stay relatively far apart from each other. The compound with the two methyl groups cis to each other well, is another isomer, the stereo isomer. So, if we have a look at this molecule with a carboxylic amide bond here in the center, it is in principle an NC single bond. This molecule is called dimethylform amide with DMF as the abbreviation. Well, here in this case, if we measure an NMR spectrum, we will see that at room temperature these two methyl groups give each one signal. They are different from each other because, well, on an average, this one CH3 group is closer to the hydrogen than the other. The other is more close to that oxygen. That means on the NMR, so-called NMR time scale, relative to the time that is needed to measure such an NMR, the rotation here around that single bond is very slow. Why is this the case? Well, we can easily explain that with a partial double bond character here. And this is due to a mesomeric interaction between the free electron pair of the nitrogen and that carbonyl group. This is the mesomeric structure, positive charge at the nitrogen, negative charge at the oxygen and a double bond here between the nitrogen and that carbon. So it might have, it is not a single bond, it is not a double bond here, it's somewhere in between, maybe a bond of 1.2. And in a result, those two methyl groups are different from each other. So, this is a very nice example for a double bond character, a partial double bond character. And since this is a carboxylic amide, these type of partial double bonds are very important in biochemistry. Thanks for listening.